we can find the solution of certain types of differential equations analytically. In this video, we will encounter the first two times and we will also learn how we can find their solution. In general, the dy dx is a function on the right hand side of x and y. However, we have two easier cases. The dy dx can be a function of x on the right hand side only, or the dy dx can be a function only of y on the right hand side. Those two cases are, uh, uh, are the ones we will look into now. Those are easier cases. How are we going to solve the case where dy dx only depends on uh, uh, x on the right hand side? So in that case, we can integrate left hand side and right hand side directly with respect to x. If we integrate the left hand side with respect to x, we first differentiate y with respect to x and then integrate y with respect to x. Those actions cancel out, so we get directly y of x on the left hand side, which was what we were looking for in the first place. And on the right hand side we get integral f x dx, which is some integral we can uh, evaluate, maybe analytically, depending on f of x. So let us look at an explicit example. So dy dx equals a function of x only on the right hand side, no y's in the right hand side. So we integrate with respect to x on the left hand side and on the right hand side. If we integrate with respect to x on the left hand side, we get y of x. And if we integrate with respect to x on the right hand side, we have the antiderivative of x squared plus 3 equals 1 third x cubed plus 3x plus an integration constant. And there we have our solution y of x. Let us look at the second case, where now the dy dx is a function on the right hand side of y only. Well, this technique worked nicely, so let us try again what happens if we integrate with respect to x on both sides. So we do it here, and we try to integrate with respect to x also on the right hand side. Now, left hand side is fine, but on the right hand side we have to integrate g of y with respect to x. However, y depends on x, but we do not know how yet, so we cannot proceed with the right hand side. We ha in order to compute it, we need uh, y as a function of x. However, we were computing y of, as a function of x, so we are stuck now. So this does not work. What is the right way to do it? Well, we can divide both sides by g of y and multiply with the x. Then we get this expression over here. So we basically separated all y's to the left and all x's to the right. And then we can put an integral sign in front. So we have integral 1 over gy dy equals integral 1 dx. And now we are fine, uh, because on the right hand side we have to integrate 1 over g of y with respect to y. And in an explicit problem this g of y is given, so we can compute the uh, left hand side. And the right hand side we just have to integrate 1 with respect to x, which gives us an x. So let us look into an explicit example where the g of y equals y squared, so the right hand side only depends on y and not on x. So we divide by y squared on both sides and we multiply with dx, so we get this problem over here. Uh, then we put the integral signs and we rewrite the y squared as y to the pi power minus 2, and integral 1 dx. Then if we, we integrate y to the power minus 2 with respect to y, we get a minus 1 y to the power minus 1, so minus 1 over y. And integrating the right hand side is easy, it's just x plus a constant. And then we can solve for y. y equals minus 1 over x plus a constant. So there we have found our function y of x in this case.